Why didn't I look down in this spot earlier? No, you had other, other attractive... Uh, places up there. I mean, you get some good sets up on the other end, too. It's not like you've wasted your... You've caught that 60-pounder. Yep. Prepping the area a little bit. My phone's blowing up. <laughs> nice, freshly chewed stick here. That's a good sign. Very good sign. So, I'll get some steaks here. Basically, what I'm going to do... There you go. Moving the safeties. So hopefully I can get a stick in the ground here. It'd be like me and forget to leave the safety on. Oh yeah, she good. There you go. Slide the safeties up out of the way. Now this definitely isn't long, long enough for what I like, but it'll work. I like having four or five feet. Yep. Just so when I make, make a catch, it gets down out of the way. Yep, so you can get a tail out of there. Well, that way, if I get another beaver coming in, mm -hmm. they're not chewing on the one that's sitting there dead. Exactly. One thing... It's easy to... One thing with these stakes, too, though, is to drive them at an angle away from the water or towards you drive it towards the water with the stake end it's like a tent pig yep well, plan b yep that's what you call it we ran into a rock issue with the with the stake so we're going to use a natural anchor yep. or brian's going to use a natural anchor i should say before i before i actually got these stakes though i was this is all i was doing was trying to find a tree yep i do that it's, do that. it's not always so easy though no, it's not. to find a good one Especially if it's a leg hold. And then what I'm going to do is clear some, of, clear some of this out. Throw some junk over here. And try to funnel them in to one area. The one area that I want them to come into. And it doesn't have to be mud. I'm making a cast amount. Helps if it's mud. Yep. And then you get something to stick. <clears throat> there you go. Believe it or not, that's what they find attractive. <laughs> Somebody else's mud pile. Yep. So what I'm going to do is just try to block them in a little yep. bit so they have to come through the trap. Yep. If I can get him to stick up. There you go. That right there. Make a semi dive stick out of it. Mm -hmm. You got a good anchor. Good anchor. That chain's not going to affect the. No, nope. no, that's good. That's going to go off no problem. And then what I'm going to do, it's funny how you're the one that's got your camera running and I don't even <laughs> have mine going. We got it documented. Yeah. I'm just going to grab a twig. And this is this is the stuff I used to hit the 60 pounder with. Yep. It's Caven's uh, Timber, Beaver Call, and uh, Glan Lure. Real sweet smelling. I'm going to put a glob of that. Good stuff. Right on top. It's the icing on the cake. And then, I'll, and then my trick that I usually do is I'll take a glob of it and just stick it up like that. Mm -hmm. That way I can tell if a beaver has come in. If they come in the backside or whatever. Or, yep. And come in and mess around with the set. Yep. And then my kicker that I always add 
Not a lot of people do this. But I use Bob, Bob Evans Green Beaver Lure. It's real oily, stays on top of the water. Yep. Real slick stuff. No, that's the mint and poplar caster? Yeah, that's like the okay. mint poplar stuff. Um, and what I do is I get a get a chunk to stick on you to stick on it. Yeah. On my stick. Easier said than done. Yeah, easy, very much easier. You used to that. carry popsicle sticks. That works slick as shit. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. And you then get what I will do is I will put it at an angle so it's touching the water. Oh yeah. Just like that. So the oils can run out. And the oil slick will run out. You know, over a couple hours now, what it's going to do is it's going to go out all over everywhere yeah. in the water. And the beaver, when they come swimming through, they just got their head and nose right above the water, and they'll hit that real quick, and they'll follow where it comes from. Mm -hmm. Hopefully right to this set. Hopefully through the trap. Right through the trap. And tomorrow morning, we should, knock on wood, have a beaver. Another 60-pounder would be nice. Would be. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Less, less work on the back this time for sure. On to the next one.